Have you ever wondered what redfish like when the water is dark and cloudy? Well, this fly is going to help you out. Alright guys, so before we get into this fly, we need to talk a little bit about why it's tied the way it is and why we're using the colors we're using. So we're going to be doing almost like a joker color scheme. It's going to be black, chartreuse, and purple. The idea here is when the water is real dark and murky and that fish can only see a foot and a half in front of his face at best, if you're throwing a clear looking or, or white fly, a lot of times these fish aren't going to see it, they're not going to notice it, especially if they're focused down in the mud. So what you want to do is contrast that and either go very, very fluorescent, like all chartreuse or bright orange or something that's going to stand out. Or what I prefer to do is to go black or purple and then have some of those highlighted accents in that fly as well. So today we're going to tie a fly that's black, chartreuse, and purple as its main colors. And this is a great fly for when the water is real dark and when you need a big profile on the fly and a lot of action to get that fish's attention. Let's check it out. Guys, if you think this video is rad, be sure to check us out on Patreon. There'll be a link in the description below. Become a member there. Gain access to dozens of HD fly tying videos and become eligible to win prizes. Click the link below and sign up today. guys simple fly to tie very very efficient for catching redfish in dark water it's also a great bass fly if you do a lot of bass fishing great for largemouth bass and smallmouth give it a shot thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later deuces <laughs>